Hi there guys, right, we want to talk to you today about our leather restoration and repair kits. These come in various sizes from a scuff kit to a steering wheel, a gear shift kit, right through to this which is a small kit, then we have a medium, a large, and then we have bespoke kits for people to do DIY repairs at home on cars, classic cars, furniture, jackets, shoes, handbags, anything that is leather, you name it, these kits can restore it. These are for pigmented coated leathers, not aniline leathers. So you must understand that. So if you wanna know what a pigmented coated leather is, hop on over to the uh, leather portal called Leather Wiki and go to prorestorers.co.uk and you'll be able to find everything that you need to know about all the different types of leathers that there are out there and what works and what doesn't work on them. It's an information portal about everything to do with leather, types of how to tan leather. It's got an abundance of information on that site. So with this kit, let me explain to you how this kit works and the contents of this kit so you can understand them. So each kit comes obviously packed like so um, and we get a small, medium and a large kit. So in a small kit, you get, uh, with this particular bottle, which is an ivory, um, this is the leather dye colorant. This is a 250 ml bottle. This is sufficient to do two seats in a car. So the two front seats in a car, that, that bottle is sufficient to do two seats. The medium kit will do the front facings of two seats and the face and the front facing of the back seat. If you want to do the seats, all the way around, the sides, door card, steering wheel, back seat, the whole lot, then you'd want the large kit. So with every kit, like this one is an ivory, with that kit, you get what we call tints, which is these small bottles here. So let's have a look at what the tints are and what they do. These tints with this particular ivory, we have got an umber, we have got a bright yellow, we have got a dark blue, and we have got a white. So what these colours do, to make that ivory originally, those colours would have been used to make that ivory. So these tints, which is always a smaller bottle, as you can see in comparison, they are much, much smaller. What they're used for is to lighten and to darken the colour and to change its tone. So that when you're matching to your leather, if that's like an old, worn, faded area and you want to make sure that matches in perfectly, you would use those tints to adjust the main colour to match it perfectly. It's a very simple process. Tiny little drop of this goes in. Obviously yellow's gonna make it much brighter, white's gonna make it lighter, green's gonna make it slightly sort of like a, a much sort of darker cream color, and then the blue is gonna change the color, you know, uh, darken the color up for you and, and give it a much darker shade. So that's how the colors work and how the tints work. So it's quite a very simple process. Um, you do get in all kits a color card, so that's absolutely fantastic. It's gonna help you there with the color card system to do that. There is complete full instructions in the kit as well. Um, all these instructions are detailed here um, with some pictures to help you as well. And they're fully detailed instructions. And on this side here, there's some details about color mixing as well. So you've got those. This particular bottle, which is the, always the same size as the actual main color, which this color is ivory, as you know, this is called leather prep. This is a solvent based material. This is designed to remove the surface color on, on the item that you're going to repair and restore before you apply the new colour. You also have in here a matte and a gloss lacquer. These can be mixed together equally to gain you a satin. If you wanted to mix them together so the matte wasn't so matte, because the matte is quite a dull matte, and it's a little bit matter than what you would really want to put onto leather as a matte finish, you would just add a small amount of gloss. So maybe adding into the matte 10% of the gloss into there would lift that matte sheen slightly so it's not a really dead flat matte finish because the matte is a really dead flat matte so you don't want it to do that. So these are your application sponges, one for your paint and one for your um, lacquers. So one for the paint and one obviously does the lacquers. There is a pair of gloves in here as well and you've obviously got terry toweling and you've got the 1200 grit sandpaper to be sanding in between putting on the layers of paint and the lacquer. You can just cut that in half and that's more than sufficient and you've got a red emery pad for using to remove the surface colour. So you'd put the piece, cut a piece of cloth up, put it inside the emery pad, load it up with prep and rub it over the surface to remove all the colour. As a test to know whether the colour's been removed, if you put a bit of prep back on the surface and it soaks in, that is exactly where you want to be to carry out your colour restoration. So when you're starting your colour restoration, you do all the prep work, then you're going to have to do your repairs, like fillers, tears, fibre binders, that sort of thing is what you do at that stage. Then you go to the colouring stage, wipe the colour in first of all, 
let it dry, and then stipple a coat on. Probably a couple of coats stippled on, and you'll be ready for the lacquer. If you want to spray, what you would do is wipe the coat in first of all, let it dry, and then spray it with a spray gun, like an airbrush. Uh, spraying paints, so if you want to be around 20 PSI. Your lacquers, you can spray those on as well if you wanted to, if you didn't want a sponge. 15 PSI for your lacquers, and just keep slightly further away from the surface, because the lacquers are much thinner than the paint. Any other information you need to know, guys, we are here as a family company to help you understand to restore your leather at home or work or in the office, no matter whether it's a classic or vintage car or truck or motorbike seat, these products will restore anything that is leather that is a pigment coated from your jacket to your shoes and handbags to your sofas at home. Any help you need, drop us an email. We're always here to help. Go to the website, www.leatherrepaircompany.com. Thank you very much, guys.